Hi, my name is Xavier and, uh, and I'm a physicist. So I'm a, I'm a researcher and uh, I work with atoms and molecules. Uh, so here on this picture, uh, you can see uh, my experiment in my lab. And so in this big box on the right, uh, we create molecules uh, and we look at them, uh, at this beam of molecule uh, with, with light. Because every, uh, every atom uh, and every molecule in the world can absorb and emit light. Atoms are, are the reason when, why we have all of this color around us. Uh, they are so colorful. We have the, the, the color of the grass. Uh, you can look at the color of my t-shirt or, or the sky uh, that is blue, uh, this guitar that is brown. Um, and all of these different colors that you see uh, are because atoms have uh, different properties. So we can think at uh, all of these atoms like tiny instruments. When you excite them, give them some energy, uh, then they are going to uh, play some notes, uh, as we can do with, uh, with this guitar. So if I, if I take this guitar and I, and I pull a string, uh, I give it some energy uh, and it's making a sound. So atoms are, are a bit like this guitar. If, if we give them energy, uh, they're going to emit some light uh, as this guitar uh, emits notes. So now if we take a look uh, at uh, this hydrogen lamp, uh, when we turn it on, we give it some energy and so the hydrogen atom uh, emits some light. We can look a bit more in, in, in detail uh, at this light. So this picture that you see here is, uh, is called the spectrum. Uh, and so you can see the different colors that are actually emitted by the hydrogen atoms. So these colors are, are hydrogen tiny instruments. So on the left, you have the, the red color. And so if we go back to the guitar, it's like a low note. It has a low energy, so it vibrates uh, slowly. And in the middle, you have uh, a bit higher energy, so it's like a medium note. The string of the guitar, when I pull it, is vibrating faster. And then uh, on the other side of the spectrum, uh, the, the blue, so the highest uh, energetic light, uh, it's a high, like a high note. Uh, the string of the guitar vib vibrates uh, fast. So how do atoms do this to uh, absorb energy and emit this light? So now imagine that you are a hydrogen atom. You can absorb some particular light, some resonant light. Uh, for example, uh, a red beam uh, is coming to you. Uh, you can absorb this red and now you have absorbed some energy. It's a low energy because it's red, but you have absorbed some energy. So you can imagine you start moving a bit because you're excited by this energy and you even get a bit, a bit larger, and so you move slowly like this. And maybe after a while, you're tired, so you're gonna re-emit that light, and so you, the energy left with the light, and you stop moving. And now a bit later, uh, some green light uh, arrives to you, comes to you, and it's more energetic because it's green, so you're a bit more excited because you have more energy now, and you're moving uh, a bit faster than before. And then after a while, uh, you're tired again, and so you re emit the green light that lives with the energy, and you're again uh, not moving. And now, uh, you little uh, hydrogen atom uh, absorbs uh, a blue light, uh, and so the blue light has more energy, and so now you're very excited, you're, you're quite big, and you're moving quite fast. Uh, and after a while, you're tired, and you re emit the light, and you stop moving, and you stand still. So that's what you're going to explore uh, a bit more now with. Uh, this dance video. Hey, it's me again, Akeem. We've just heard about how atoms color the world around us and how the way that atoms take in light is the reason why we see colors the way we see them. So, as you know, I'm a dance artist and I like to explore ideas a little bit more. So, let's explore using our bodies. We're gonna dance. Let's go. Okay, now we know more about atoms, light and sound. 
Let's warm up our bodies. I'm going to invite you to just close the eyes, taking in a deep breath. Into the nose, out from the mouth. And as you're breathing, I want you to imagine red light spreading all over your body. Spreading into your shoulders, into your ribs. Down to your pelvis, through the legs, into the knees, into the feet, and up back into the body, into the arms, into the fingers. Keep the breath going. And I'd like to invite you to just move the body how you feel this red light. How do you feel the energy of this red light? If you want to open your eyes, just get a little example of how I'm doing it. Feel free, go ahead. yourself back into stillness, back to the breath, this red light is disappearing and it turns into a green light. And this green light is spreading all over your body and again just inviting you to move how this green light makes you eyes if you haven't already to so just get a little example of how I'm moving with the green lights. Really make sure it's a bit different to how the red light was. Example. Making sure it's different to how you did the red and green lights. nice and warm excellent now we're going to have Michael a musician who's going to explain how the vibrations of sound and the vibrations of light have many similarities hey guys my name is Michael Sebastian and I'm a musician uh, and today I'm going to talk to you about how the vibrations in atoms are kind of similar to the vibrations in music and how a musical instrument 
um, or an atom is kind of like a tiny little musical instrument. We've heard about how atoms absorb and release particular colours of light. Um, and so a musical instrument kind of works in the same way, in that when I put energy in, um, it causes the strings to vibrate and then sound comes out. So I'll give you a little demonstration. So energy in, sound out. Energy in, sound comes out. So each atom has its own particular set of notes or light frequencies that it absorbs. Um, so for instance, hydrogen absorbs three different colors or three different energies. Um, one being red, one being green, and one being blue. Um, so the red frequency is a low energy. Uh, and in music, um, the low energy for me is always represented by the bass. And so this is what a bass sounds like. Um, and then the green takes up the middle frequencies. Um, and for me, in music, uh, the middle frequencies are always occupied by the guitar or the piano or a synthesizer, but I've got a guitar so I'll play how that sounds like a little bit. Um, and then finally we have the blue, which is the highest frequency and the highest energy colour. Um, so that, the highest energy in music for me is always represented by the drums, um, which I have a little sampler, I can play some here, so. So yeah, then you have all these differing ranges of energy, uh, which then come together to make music, or the resonant, the resonant frequencies in the hydrogen atom. So if we just listen to those three frequencies or three colors again, uh, so the red, the low frequency, is the bass. And the guitar being the middle frequency. Which is the green. Um, and the final frequency being the drums. We're going to explore this idea with some movement now, so let's go back to Akeem. Awesome! That was so cool, Mike. Thank you so much. Next, we're going to explore how the sound and the light moves. Cool. So, what did the red light sound like? And how do you think it moves? Hmm. Straight away I feel small movement and really low to the ground because red is the lowest light in frequency. You can imagine the flickering of a tiny flame. Close to the ground, using your hands on the floor.
close to your body, so it's nice and small. Must be the fire from the red light. <laughs> cool. So next we have the green light. I wonder what the sound of the green light was like and how does that make us move? Hmm. Straight away, just a bit bigger, just a little bit more than the red light. The same in terms of how you use the space around you and your body. So not as small, but not too fast. But not too slow. Really feeling the flow of how you move. Nice and controlled. It's a little surprising moments, but not too much. Are you breathing? Just a little bit away from the body, so you're not as close to the body. The red light. And finding a way to close. Getting a bit more warm, a bit hotter. What's the next light? Blue light. So, same thing. How did the sound of the blue light make you want to move? Hmm. Straight away, it's a little bit busier. It's the highest light. It's the most movement, taking the space. A little bit wilder, freer, big movement, really taking the space, really stretching the body, going all the levels, oh, jumping, taking the sky, think about flight. Woo. It's electric. Find a way to close. 
bringing that blue energy down. Down, 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 down. Thanks, Mike. That really gets the heart going, doesn't it, guys? <laughs> that was amazing. Well done, everyone. So, now we're going to bring all the light and the sound together. And then we're going to hear a piece of music that has elements of the red, the green, and the blue. And what you're going to do, you're going to pick out different sounds that you hear pertaining to, that connects to, the lights that you're thinking of and you're going to move in that way. So, let's listen to the piece of music. So straight away, I can hear this bass. And if you remember correctly, the bass is more the red light. What can you hear? Also hear a tiny bit of percussion that represented the blue light. So you can change to the blue light. And then go back to the red. But this is what I'm doing. You can do something completely different. Did I just hear some green? So right now we have a clear mixture of everything taking place at the same time. I'm just hanging out in red a little bit. Where are you? Are you in blue? Or are you in green? That's red I go. And green. And blue. Back to red. But remember, you can make your own journey. Really listen to the music. What parts can you hear? Bring those parts to life through your movement.
going. We're gonna find a way to close. Hang out in your last light. Hang out in your last light. What's your last light? Whatever it may be. So now we're going to do our cool down. So, similar to how we started, I want you to just close the eyes and connect to your breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. I'm just going to show you from the side. We're going to do a roll down. Let your head fall, chin to the chest. And slowly finding your hands, stroking down your leg, down to the floor. If you want to bend the knees just a little bit, you can do. Push in, straighten the legs, and then bend the knees. And one more time, pushing, straightening the legs, and bend the knees. Come to your little tiny ball, and you can gently open the eyes here. Back to facing you. And send one of your legs back. And bring your body up. Take the arms up above the head and just stretch. Stretch the fingers. Send the shoulders down into the back. Stretch that back leg into the ground. Moving in. And breathing out, coming back to your tiny ball. Make sure your head is hanging down. And breathing in, sending the other leg back, stretching the arms up to the ceiling again. Stretch that back leg, stretch the arms up to the ceiling. Breathing in and out, back to your tiny ball. And then straightening the legs, stretching the legs. This time we're gonna bend the knees. Keep the chin connected to the chest and slowly rolling up, making sure your head is the last thing. Well done everyone, that was so nice. Do you feel nice and cool down now? I hope you do. That was really cool, everything you just did. Now you know about the atoms, sound, and the light vibrations, and how we can use our movement to express them. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much, and I hope you had fun. Bye. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this uh, very nice uh, piece of dance. Um, if you want to explore the, the, the beautiful colors of Atom a bit more, uh, you can visit our website. Um, you can, you can try, for example, helium or, or carbon, uh, and so you can play all the colors uh, as notes. 
uh, you can also try the, the beautiful colors on, of, of neon uh, and play them all together uh, as you would do with a harp. Uh, try, try anything you want. Thank you for joining us and see you next time.